I told you that sexism is officially over? Well, it's true that women are now 16% more likely to get hired than men. And women have outnumbered men on college campuses for almost a decade. Mission accomplished on smashing the patriarchy, right? Not by a long shot. Women still face major barriers at work, and in more surprising, insidious ways than you might think. Like the hurdle my character Mariana and her crew experience in this week's Good Trouble finale. I lied about Vincent passing on your pitch. I thought it would be easier than... Than you... telling me the truth? What happened? I, th I thought you loved it. Why is this high-powered female executive holding Mariana and her team back from their success, instead of advocating for them? Unfortunately, this scenario is all too common. Women-led companies are 63% less likely to get financial backing than companies run by men. Weird, since female entrepreneurs who do manage to secure investment are just as successful as men. Although we've made some progress getting women into leadership roles, the percentage of women taking a first step into management has barely budged from just 38% in years. The numbers get worse the farther up the ranks you go. Today, only 21% of senior level positions are held by women. And if women do get to the top, they often face more scrutiny than male leaders. All we ever did was stand up for doing the right thing. But the perception is that you and your team are troublemakers. And for me, as a woman, I have to be very careful where I invest the company's money. My choices are scrutinized more closely. I don't have the luxury of making a mistake. This problem isn't unique to the business world. Women are also more scrutinized in an industry that's getting a lot of attention right now, law enforcement. A research group at Yale wanted to know if female police chiefs were held to higher standards than their male counterparts. So they created a study with a fictional story about a police chief who fails to properly staff their force for an upcoming protest, a mistake that led to multiple injuries. In one version of the tale, our top cop is male. In another, She's female. Same scenario, same mistake. But the approval rating of the female police chief dropped by 30%. For the male police chief, it dropped only 10%. Study participants believed she should be demoted. Well, he should keep his job. No wonder women leaders are paranoid. It's the plight of being the only woman. The only woman police chief. The only woman in a boardroom. All eyes are on you, watching for a reason to say, we knew she didn't belong. If we want to continue decades of progress towards gender equality, we need to create work environments where women from scrappy entrepreneurs like Mariana to powerful investors feel empowered to do their jobs. Women deserve to lead for the same reasons men do. Because they worked hard, and they're good at what they do. Share this video if you think equality in the workplace is worth fighting for.